Hello and welcome to another Daily Fix. Kim Horcher here and on today's episode, Ubisoft gives a lengthy apology for Assassin's Creed Shadows not being 100% historically accurate, Fortnite fans are rallying together for a hilarious common cause, and maybe we'll see a lot more Mega Man in the future. This is your Daily Fix. Ubisoft has posted a message on Twitter addressing some of the controversy surrounding Assassin's Creed Shadows, specifically directed toward their Japanese fans. The four-page post, written in both English and Japanese, explains their stance on historical accuracy and that their Assassin's Creed games are not meant to be a factual representation of history but, quote, historical fiction. It is the developer's intent that the games, quote, spark curiosity in players who may then do actual research into the real events and time periods. These games have been coming out almost once a year since 2007, and in case the virtual reality genealogical time travel and medieval parkour didn't give it away, they've never exactly strived for 100% historical accuracy. So what's this long post in response to? For some context, there were issues surrounding some of the promotional materials used for the game. There was concept art that featured a flag from a Japanese historical reenactment group called Sakigahara Tepotai. The flag was used without the group's permission, and the group has already asked that Ubisoft remove the image from the game's art. While Ubisoft has agreed to stop using the image going forward, it may be too late to remove it from a possibly already printed physical art book for Assassin's Creed Shadows. And there is also the apparently controversial decision to include Yasuke in the story. Yasuke, a real figure from Japanese history, is an African man who lived for a time in feudal Japan, serving in the court of the warlord Oda Nobunaga. Yasuke is one of the game's two protagonists and is portrayed as a samurai. The other character being Naoe, a female Japanese shinobi. Yasuke's inclusion seems controversial because there is no conclusive proof that Yasuke was an actual samurai, although he has been portrayed as such in other popular media from Japan and elsewhere. Samurai or not, there's proof Yasuke did exist. The Assassin's Creed series has featured plenty of historical figures in key roles, but Shadows is the first game in which the playable protagonist is based on a real person. The decision to feature a black man as a lead protagonist in a game set in feudal Japan has sparked a lot of, uh, let's just say very spirited debate online. But this isn't the first time the Assassin's Creed series has been the subject of controversy. Since the franchise's beginning, Ubisoft has included a disclaimer reminding players each game is a work of fiction and that creative license and fantasy elements have been used and that the development teams are made up of people from, quote, various beliefs, sexual orientations, and gender identities. Assassin's Creed Shadows will arrive on November 12th of this year, and if you're interested in the game, IGN has an extensive interview with the dev team over at IGN.com. Moving right along, Fortnite players are uniting under a common goal. Shoot anyone driving the Tesla Cybertruck in the game. The vehicle was added to the ever-popular Battle Royale today as a free reward to those who complete a series of challenges in the Summer Road Trip Quest by August 6th. And of course, the vehicle is already the subject of jokes in the Fortnite community. Reddit user Suspira by Goblin said it was, quote, overpriced, despite being technically free. Another Reddit user, Thrillian, said it, quote, gave the nostalgic 2020 feel in Cyberpunk 2077 when the textures weren't loading. And Caius on Twitter, I still won't call it X, tweeted about the vehicle's large hitbox saying, quote, it also has a gigantic windshield, making it one of the most genuinely paid to lose cosmetics ever added. Even developers at Epic seem to have some disdain for the Cybertruck. Associate producer Robbie Williams tweeted, destroy on site with the middle finger emoji. Are you going to cruise around the map in the Cybertruck or take pot shots at it? Let us know in the comments. And finally, Capcom is reassuring Mega Man fans that the franchise remains one of its, quote, highest valued IPs, which sort of feels like when parents say they love all their children equally, even if the live-at-home slacker who hasn't had a job in years. 
Via a shareholders meeting, the mega developer and publisher said it's looking into how to create more Mega Man games on an ongoing basis. The first Mega Man game was released on the Nintendo Entertainment System way back in 1987. Or if you want to be pedantic, he's called Rockman in Japan, where the NES is called the Famicom. In any case, despite being a prolific figure in the early days of platformers, Mega Man slowed down in recent years. The most recent mainline entry was Mega Man 11 in 2018. So, yeah, maybe it's time we got more of the Blue Bomber. Let us know what kind of game you'd want a new Mega Man to be. Old school 2D side-scroller, first person shooter a la Metroid Prime, open world gacha game like Genshin, I'm kidding about the last one, but hey, in the meantime, maybe Capcom will put him in Fortnite. They've put way dumber stuff in that game. And those are your stories for today, Tuesday, July 23rd. I'm Kim Horcher and there will be no daily fix tomorrow because we're on our way to San Diego Comic-Con. We've got a lot of guests lined up and we'll be covering all the big news coming out of SDCC, especially that highly anticipated Marvel Studios Hall H panel. So stay tuned to IGN all throughout the week for the latest.